Uh, students, as you know that uh, on yesterday I explained the methods of a scanner class. Some more method is rem uh, remains of the method uh, the scanner class. So in today I will discuss to do those methods. So let me first share the screen. So these are the methods. Some methods are given over here. Has next and. Uh, is coming has next line has next short has next inch has next long has next float and hex has next double so as you are watching this these methods it is started from has and it is having two words has next so i said to you the naming convention of uh, java method uh, the java methods are if it is having more than one uh, words then first uh, word will be in small and uh, after that the the first letter of each and every uh, word will be in the capital letter so that's why it is having three uh, words so if the first letter n and the first letter l are in capital and the and the first word is in small so you know why, what I'm saying, I already explained to you. So it is started from has, so has next, it is asking a question from you, has next. That means it is having the next token. So what it will return, so it is understood that it is asking the question. So that's why it will return the Boolean value. That means suppose if I ask, uh, sort of, if I ask a question that, uh, will you go to school? So what do you say? What do you say? Yes, sir. I say yes. Yes. So your answer will be in the yes or no. So in the same way, it is asking has next, has next line. That means you have uh, the next token, you have the next line. So that means uh, uh, it is asking the questions. So we will get the answer in true and false. So that's why it returns true if the scanner has another token in its in its input. If it doesn't have, then it will return a false. Is it clear to you? Next one has next line returns to if this scanner has another line in its input. That means if uh, the scanner class is having, uh, wait, students are coming. Okay. So uh, next line returns the true if the scanner has another line. That means if it is having another line, then it will be true. Otherwise, for next short, it, it is having uh, in uh, next short any uh, any short values. Uh, then true, otherwise false. It is having int, then it is having uh, will true. Otherwise, it will uh, give the false. So I, I, I'm, I'm just showing by practical. Don't worry. Where is Luigi? Luigi is here. Okay, so students, these all program, this program is discussed on yesterday, and I hope that you people have done and uh, practiced uh, on these programs, these programs. So you know that scanner SC equal to new scanner, and this uh, I will pass the I I must pass the system dot in that represent the keyboard. So right now uh, the input input you will get from the keyboard is in the form of a string. But if I uh, already initialize a variable uh, a string, uh, write some values like uh, string -E string s equal to suppose I initialize promote, then I have written 12, 12.3, then uh, string and uh, <coughs> and uh, string is have uh, integer float. Any more data type remains? Let me see the word file. Uh, next int, next long, float, double. Okay, so <clears throat> these are the, and one more remains next line. So next line will be uh, discussed uh, in this programs also. So, so these are the basically, I, I have uh, mentioned a string S and this string is having promote space 12, space 12.3. That means this is a string. This is space, this is integer, this is space, and this is float. So I will, apart from passing the keyboard, I am passing S over here. S means this string, uh, string variable, string type variable. So that means we are passing this complete string to 
scanner class. Then what happened? Uh, we no need to uh, write this line, enter your uh, name, because I already, uh, I have, so why I will, I'm asking to enter the name. So sc dot, what we will write for getting the um, integer, uh, sorry, string, we have a method next. Next, we have a method next. Next or next line. I said to you, if you want to get a, uh, a, a string without having any uh, sp white space, then we then you will use next. And next line are used if you want to get a string with having white space, like Pramod, space Kumar, white, uh, space Misra. So my work can be completed and the variable should be changed here. Otherwise, there will be a conflict, uh, conflict S and S. So if I write sc dot next, then what I will get promote. Okay. So if I print here s one, the the there will be promote. Next, delete this one. Then what I mean? We have integer, so we will use this next int method. Okay. Then your uh, roll number is this, which is also correct. Next one. Uh, next one is float. So float m sc dot next float. And we will get uh, the uh, 12.3 over here. And next one, if I will remove this one, and uh, I will use here next line. Let's see here. Next line. So uh, sc dot next line and uh, mo and uh, you will just uh, your marks is remove this. Check. Uh, getting next line next line okay and remove there is no use of others remove this and students i said to you that uh, there are a method i haven't used right now these methods so let me i'm using this one has next so has next it will check the next token so next token can be uh, promote next token can be 12 and next token can be 12.3. So if I write this one uh, here, uh, system dot out dot println. And I am writing here sc dot next, sc uh, has next, I'm sorry, sc dot has next. So what, what answer you will get? Anyone can tell me? sc dot has next i'm i'm giving i'm giving one clue to you uh, by sc dot next you got promote and in the next line it is asking is there any next token so what what answer you will get sort of by this line what answer you will get sir true true absolutely right because there is a next token 12 there is a next token 12. Is it clear? Clear? Yes. Next, if I copy this one and uh, paste uh, after this line, uh, uh, this uh, print ln, your name is this, and next your number is this after this one. Then what we will get right now? Achha, we will write here. Uh, Achha, has next we can we can also write the has next because has next always give you true uh, because it do not depend upon integer float and and a string it will only ask the token so it always gives you true so if i write here has next int then tell me the answer tell me the answer uh, uh, has next int okay correct no sir can you give me the answer what answer it will print this line anybody can tell the answer everyone are, are good from this class false false Achha, false you are saying let me explain to other students uh, but be very serious uh, sc dot next so by s string s1 sc dot next and you are asking sc dot has next that means you have another token so it will say yes i have 12 so i will print here 12 true then 
again s1 is printed over here that means pramod will print again then next it will print next int so next int is 12 so it will be printed here 12 and it is asking you have another int so it will say no i have next one is float i do not have the next uh, int so it will give false i think right now everyone understood everyone understood or not yes okay wait okay so if i write here sc dot has next float can you give anybody the answer of this one this line anybody please i need answer in a fast mode i need answer in a fast mode because i have to explain one more concept in today's class saurabh do you know answer sir false false because uh, you have um, uh, has next int then next float so next float you will be printed by 12.3 and you are asking do you have any other float so it will say no i do not have so that's why it will print false so next let me show you the output where this one is false uh, sorry i didn't uh, written the i haven't written the incompatible type basically student <clears throat> java string cannot be converted to int uh, we have written here int that's why it is giving error and you know that next line returns the string i can show you proof uh, next line method where is yo you can see here uh, this method is used to read a uh, to read a complete line of text it returns the token as a string but i have written the uh, i i, I, I i wrote over there integer type that's why it was giving it was giving wrong result so yes string str string mo okay so let me compile again it is compiled no error let me run this also okay so it is showing error because uh, no line found because you know that in this there is no new line is there any 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 other new lines no that's why it was it was run time error you can see here you got the result true promote 12 false marks 12.3 false but after that there is a error because new line no 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 line found because this checks a new line you can check here from this pdf uh, what a method will do returns true if the scanner has another line in its input so i think it doesn't have any input so that's why uh, it doesn't have any uh, other uh, new line so that's why uh, it is uh, no i was checking by this method that's why it is giving error this method just see here uh next line where it is this one so this method is used to read a complete line of text it returns the token as a string so i am using this method next line i am asking oh please give me the next line result i do not have any next line so that's why it is giving a run time error is it clear to you but if i use this one uh just remove this one uh complete remove control x just wait so s1 and uh, i will write here control v and uh, as next uh, right now you people can see uh, show me uh, tell me what uh, what should be the answer over here can you tell me what answer by this line because i have written has sir of tell me the answer tell me immediate sir its answer will really be false very good because we do not have any new line just see here acha i written a wait 
I did some wrong, there will be no terminator. The terminator will be outside. Okay, uh, no error. Run it. Okay, check the answer by your uh, code. Uh, what is the answer? This one. So you can check. Uh, first one is true. Uh, where it was true? SC dot has next. Definitely it was having token. That's why it is true. Then you got this promote. Then 12. Then you do not have any next uh, int. That's why it is false. Again, you are checking the uh, float. So it is giving false. And you do not have any new line. So that's why it is giving false. I think you people understood everything. Can I start a new topic? Can I start a new topic? Everyone, if you say everyone, then yeah. I will. Sure. Yes. Say yes. everyone, say everyone. I, I understood. Yes, sir. I everyone, everyone, I need answer from everyone. Yes, sir. Sure. Sivakant, Sivakant, yes, especially, Sivakant, especially from you. Sivakant. Yes, sir. Are you got the, did, did you get the concept? Yes. Believe on me, I will teach you in a better matter, Siva Khan. If you will yes, be yes, uh, if you will be regular and watch the video, if I'm not saying if you will be the suppose uh, any network problem, mobile discharge problem, but if you watch my videos uh, on YouTube, every video, so if you will be absent, then definitely you will get the concept. Okay. So next one is I I'm explaining daily meter. What is daily meter? So you know uh, this one, this concept. Next, uh, this is the end of today. I will end this chapter because it is wasting too much of time. There is nothing in this chapter, no special things, but lengthy chapter. Okay, I didn't uh, take photographs of daily meters. Okay, I will discuss you. Uh, suppose you know that uh, I said to you. Delimeter is the white space. Yesterday I explained. This is delimeter. This is delimeter. You know? Do you know? Yesterday I explained or not? Sriya, I explained. I said. I told you yesterday or not? Key space are by default. Space are delimiters. Yes, sir. So explain. Huh? Space are delimiters. Delimeter means uh, 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 by which condition our tokens are divided. Suppose this is my first token. This is my second token. So how I am saying this is first token, this is second token? Because I am keeping one thing in my mind. There is a space. So if you, if I get any space, so I understood. Oh, there is a space. So after that, there are another token. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right or am I right or not? Please tell me, Bida. Please tell me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If everyone's response will be there, then my uh, that means uh, <clears throat> what I say. Uh, wait. Let me check that daily me how many portions of daily meter are in your syllabus because um, I can tell more and more things, but I will explain uh, whatever things in your syllabus. There is no more, more thing in your syllabus. I think very less uh, points about the daily meter. Okay, so I got this daily meter. This is very few things is written in your book uh, about the daily meter. So I will explain only those, those things. So give me a moment. Use daily meter. There are a method, you know, there is a method use daily meter. Have you ever heard about this method? Use daily meter. Okay. So, uh, Saurabh uh, and other students, as I know, we are uh, we are uh, separating our tokens by space. Right now, I will separate our tokens by comma. But how a Java understand? 
you are separating your tokens by comma because java knows that uh, the separation of tokens will be white space are you understanding what i am saying are you understanding what i am saying yes sir okay so how java will know you are separating your tokens by comma how java can understand this thing anybody tell me how java can understand you are separating uh, your uh, your uh, tokens by comma because java already knows a token is separated by white space that means uh, space anybody tell saurav do you have any idea no sir no sir okay basically the other students are understanding what i am saying other ritik shreya shivakant yes sir are you understanding what what i want to explain what i want to say say you no yes sir shreya said no shreya you you are not understanding no shreya i said uh, this is first token this is if i do not write here comma uh, this time please understand uh, understand please uh, i said this is a token this is first token this is second token this is third token this 12.3 is a uh, third token so how java understand that uh that you are uh, this is first this is second this is third java understand if there is a space between the the uh, the things then it will java understand oh that is different token suppose my first token is promote the promote then java found oh there is a space so after space if anything is written then that that are tokens again it will found a space here so java understand this is third token right now you got this thing or not shreya just i am pointing to you only okay so java already knows i will i will separate my tokens by space but i want to separate my tokens by comma this one so how java understood that you are separating your tokens by comma so there is a method there is a method the method name is use daily meter what is the name there is a method of scanner class so it will it will work with scanner object so sc dot and the method name is use d e d e d e l i m i t e r use daily meter and uh, i will write in the double quotes uh, like uh, i want comma na so i will write here comma that means use this comma delimiter do not use space is it clear is it clear okay just compile this one class compiled no syntax error let me run this one you got answer in a very correct manner as you got previously but the student if i do not use this method see the output control x i remove this one right now i removed this one and uh, compile this one no syntax error run this oh you got a error what error java dot util no such element exception you can check it from the uh, output to error scan uh, pramod misra dot main pramod this is no such element expected that means you no uh, that is comma is not defined in this because java already knows let me explain one more time first time it is got next next means pramod will be correct oh pramod is right then it is asking has next oh it is saying has next you are asking for the next token but but i do not know uh, okay it can give to but uh, i am asking uh, where it is uh, next in but i found com comma this is not integer so i do not understand what is this so that's why it is giving exception that's why it is giving error so students but java understand i will uh, i will separate our, our tokens uh, i will separate our tokens only by the uh, space not by the comma so that's why it is error
बट इफ आई राइट हियर दिस डेलीमीटर कि ओ यू विल सेपरेट योर टोकन बाय कॉमा नॉट बाय द स्पेस यू विल सेपरेट योर टोकन बाय कॉमा नॉट बाय स्पेस सो जावा अंडरस्टूड जावा विल अंडरस्टैंड ओ यू आर ट्रिवली ट्यूली सेइंग फर्स्ट टोकन इज प्रमोट देन आफ्टर कॉमा आई अंडरस्टूड जावा अंडरस्टूड ओ देयर इज अ कॉमा आई एम सेपरेटिंग दैट्स व्हाई नेक्स्ट टोकन आई विल गॉट 12 and you are asking integer next time so i will give you 12 so next time it will say oh i got comma again so acha let me show you one more thing if i remove this one uh, then what happened and uh, i will write here comma and uh, again i am writing 12 so what happened okay let me uh, explain in the another class because time is over 10 uh, a1 and it will take time to explain more thing so uh, control z wait 12.3 are you understanding what i'm saying you all understood that means it will separating our tokens by comma that's only one thing it is separating our tokens by comma is it is it clear is it clear to everyone is it separating this is separating our tokens by comma but by default java separate our tokens by by default java separate our tokens by space is it clear to everyone yes sir if it is clear then i will show you output and after that you can leave and uh, in and you all people uh, must join in second class also because i will clear your all doubts of this chapter is it clear yes so you you can watch here everything is correct and uh, your tokens are further is uh, divided by comma separating by comma and those who are having any problem you must watch the videos i will share this in the in your class group and uh, everyone's attendance in the second class is compulsory because i will solve your doubts thank you students for joining thank you thank you thank sir. sir how was thank the class you, how was the class today thank you sir How was the class today? Excellent. Thank you. Outstanding.